Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. My camera's a little wonky. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. I've got a pretty decent sized haul with mostly home goods stuff with a couple Valentine things splattered in because I need to use them. I actually have a lot of stuff here. It's gonna be two hauls. So we'll do one now and then I'll do another one here in a minute. You won't know it, but I will know it. All right, let's get started. First things first, I found at my store these giant 32 ounce soft soap, hand soap refills. Um, I grabbed these from my cousin. Um, they need them at their house. I've got plenty of hand soap, but I thought she would enjoy these and she uh, said she would. I mean, this is a fantastic deal because I think it's equivalent to four of the small bottles for a dollar. My stores are still a dollar. So I grabbed two of those. That'll last her. You know, she's got kids and stuff, so that'll last her. She'll be happy. Um, here are the two Valentine things I found. These are just the muslin bags. They also had them out in the little ones, but I don't think I'll need the little ones this for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm actually using these, and I'll show you some other stuff. Uh, my niece, Sarah, I talk about her all the time. She and a friend are going uh, for a little weekend getaway and just for like a girl's trip. So I'm going to give them some goodie bags and each of them one of those. So here is what I got for that because I think this is all beauty products. If you have seen these at your store, you need to grab them. These are fantastic. They're called S-A-I-E, Sai brand. And what they are are facial, they're makeup removing rounds. You just use water on them and I'll show you this. I opened up a package so I could show you, but these are puffy, but you just wet them, wash them and you wash your face. I use these like the Dollar Tree makeup removing rounds for um, just at night. I'll use it one night, maybe two, and then I throw them in the washing. I throw them in the washing machine and they wash up fantastic. Um, I will tell you that I have these. I got a set in my FabFitFun box. So I know these are name brand and I believe I saw them selling on Amazon for $20. So they come in a three pack if you take them out of the plastic and that's what they look like. So I'm sending each of the girls a set of those. Then I got, for me, this is the uh, Global Beauty Exfoliating Lip Scrub, but the, uh, the flavor, if you will, is gummy bears. I didn't care for the rose, but I'm fairly certain I will like this one. And I just, I don't even use the scrubber thing. I just, my hands, and then I put some serum on it and call it a day. But it's good this time of year. So that's mine. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, I've been waiting to do this. Um, I did get a, a Wet n Wild graphic marker eyeliner to try. Just Wet n Wild brand. And then also Wet n Wild, it's perfume roller. But I don't know what the scent is. It doesn't say. And this is for me. So we're going to find out. I love perfume. I'm on the hunt for the flower brand, the flower roller. Somebody said it smells good. All right. There are some crystals or glass pieces in the bottom. I'm not sure. Um, getting coconut. And something. It's different. Um... I'm getting bathroom cleaner, if I'm being truthful. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, it's not terrible. Not terrible, but... It smells like sunblock. It smells like sunblock. It smells like the beach. Sunblock. And again, not terrible. Just not something I would typically pick, but I will keep it. I'll put it on in the summer when I put my sunblock on. But I was intrigued. Um, I grabbed each of the girls a foot mask because we love these. These are the moisturizing ones. I don't like the exfoliating ones. So I got them each a moisture foot mask to do. And I got them each a bubble face mask to do. And this one is um, with fuller earth clay, vitamin C, vitamin E, use a lemon to brighten, clarify, and moisturize. So it's kind of an all-purpose 
brightening, clarifying, and moisturizing. So I grabbed these for the girls. I also have lip masks, but I think they're in a different haul. And that's for the girls as well. So I'm just going to fill this little bag and then Sarah will take it in her luggage with her and give it to them. All right, big bag here. Um, I'm sorry, hugs and kisses with the cats and dogs. And then the cats. And the balloon says, be my meow in time. I'm sorry, I just had to have this bag. Actually, I got two and I'm sending one to Sarah. But I love it. And the sides are just the red hearts. And this is just fun to give things in. I don't typically hold on to these bags. And most likely one of them will go to my cousin. Because that's how I roll. Um, I grabbed these gloves. These are they're gardening gloves, but I will use them. I like them when I bring wood in the house. This is like rubberized. And this is like nylon so they stretch really well and they don't feel tight um but when i'm cleaning in my garage and i'm picking up like uh wood for the fireplace or stuff i like to have just something to protect my hands and my other pair was getting kind of gross and these are called latex grip gloves one size fits most so the top here what i like is stretchy nylon and then you have the inside which is the rubber so yeah protect your hands uh, for me especially, uh, my fingers get sore this time of year because they're dry. Um, I picked up two more of this size storage container because I saw them and I'm enjoying using these all over my house. The larger square ones, I have four of them now in my bathroom pantry closet, linen closet. Oh, that's Alex. Um, that hold, like one of them I have on my toothpaste and toothbrushes. One has travel size stuff and one has like all my backup supply of shower gels and moisturizers and st stuff like that. Um, and it, they hold a fair amount. This I like to use for my stationery and planner stuff. And they're great too if I'm going somewhere like to Sarah's house or we have a weekend and we want to go work on our planners. These are nice for that. And they stack really nicely on each other. So I have a couple already in use and I thought, well, let me just grab them and then I can, you know, find a good use for them, right? Right. I'm pulling out more stuff as, oh, well, this is exciting, light bulbs. So I have in my bathrooms upstairs, both bathrooms have those Hollywood style lights with the, with these bulbs and I have some outages. These are a great deal. Also, if you didn't know, and I didn't know, the Dollar Tree sells refrigerator light bulbs. So my light fixture takes these in my bathroom upstairs and I had three of them that are burnt out. So I grabbed three of those. And then my outside light needs to replace. So I grabbed one of these LED. This is 100 watt and it's um, 1,500 lumens. It, so they're cost saving. It says it will last 22.8 years. I'm not finding that to be the case, but I do find that they last a fair amount. So I grabbed four of those just to, to do around the house. And then my chandelier upstairs. It's not really a chandelier, but they take chandelier bulbs. They're burnt out, one of them burnt out. So it's that time of year, I typically feel like I'm running around the house a lot in January changing light bulbs and stuff. I will say I'm lucky that my um, smoke detectors are wired into the house, so they only have an emergency battery backup and I haven't really had to deal too much with that. However, I will tell you that my carbon monoxide detector, if you have one, they have a shelf life, so they don't, die they expire and when they expire they make a hellacious noise and you don't know why it's making that noise until you google it and you're like why won't it stop because i changed the batteries and i did all that no mm -mm. so i googled it and they're the ones that i have last seven years and it was seven years after i bought this condo that it needed to be replaced so there's a fun fact for you um i grabbed some breezy just some dryer sheets. I don't use a lot of dryer sheets. Ooh, they smell decent. Uh, you get 55 in here. What I tend to use these for is um, 
like you know that fleecy material it gets staticky and it makes me nuts and if you rub a dryer sheet on anything staticky it stops it from being staticky so i use those for that and i do put them in sometimes in the dryer especially for like flannel and things that are going to come out in my bed sheets but i don't always use them um however i did buy somewhere around here some fabric softener because i think i read you could put fabric softener in water and spray like I can mist that my bathrobe and stuff and it would stop being staticky, but all that to say, I got some dryer sheets. And this, that's like I said, this has just really been a stock up. Um, I grabbed a black um, drying mat. This is for my kitchen and I put it um, my under my coffee maker. I have a Keurig out right now. I, I rotate back and forth, but this is for my Keurig and I slide it under so I can slide it out in front if I want to add water to the back and any spills that happen it absorbs all that it's fantastic what's this oh I found it liquid gold one clean home multi-surface foaming cleaner for wood and more no drip foam grapefruit scent mm. That's not like grapefruit. So I just grabbed this. I don't need a lot of multi-surface cleaner, but again, I do a lot of cleaning this time of year. Like I just did some wood cleaner on my cedar chest and I took Christmas away finally yesterday. And last night, okay, I'll tell you the story real quick. Um, last night, okay, my tree has been undecorated for like two weeks, a week a week has been undecorated, but that was the extent of my de-Christmasing. So yesterday I said, okay, girl, this is, you're off on Saturday from all your part-time jobs. And Friday night, I was supposed to be done work, but I ended up working overtime last night and came downstairs and went to my basement and I organized, I purged every single Christmas tote and restocked them away into the closet. So when I pull out Christmas next year, all the crap is gone. And I mean, I just threw it away. It was junk gone stuff i could donate i will donate um but then of course i forget things so i have another sign and something else to go downstairs but i finally got christmas away then i got up this morning i worked two hours of overtime again and then i came down here and i cleaned this whole floor so i just have the kitchen left to finish and the bathroom and I'm leaving the pink garland up in my bathroom because i think it looks like valentine's day so all that to say i got some cleaner I don't need a lot of cleaner right now. I have plenty, but it was a deal that I really didn't want to pass up. So I thought I would just grab it. I have a lot of Mrs. Myers right now to go through, but that's okay. Um, for me, I found the Tom's of Maine prebiotic. I don't know what all that mess is because prebiotic for your hands sounds a little shady to me, but whatever. I got the blood orange and the peppermint and they smell really good and they're moisturizing, which is great for me. Like I said, helps to support good bacteria to keep skin and healthy balance, but it's moisturizing as well. Um, so I'll put one in my bedroom bathroom and one down here in my bathroom down here. I know I have plenty of soap, but, um, in the winter I try to use a moisturizing one. So I grabbed them because they smell good. And that's why I got my cousin the other one because I had already bought those for me. Um, for the girls as well for their trip, I got them each a little Clorox white. So they're going to be doing a little touristy stuff. I don't think too terribly much due to the Corona and all that, but to protect them, I grabbed them each some Clorox wipes just to keep on hand. So if they do go out to a restaurant, they can wipe the tables or whatever. I'm just being nervous Nelly, Aunt Lori, like I am. So, or as the kids call me, Aunt Lordy, because nobody could say Lori. So I was Lordy. Um, so I grabbed each of them just a small packet of Clorox wipes. I need to put it in their bag so I can pack these up for them to have, um, you know, when they're out and about. I did get also this size storage container. And let me tell you, these are fantastic if you've never utilized these. Um, I use them, well, when I worked in the office, I used to put ibuprofen, Sudafed, and then anything I wanted like medication wise in one of these and kept it in my desk drawer. They're great for sewing kits, little first aid kits, snacks for the little ones. I mean, really, these are a perfect size and I loved this kind of muted green color. So I grabbed a three pack um, 
Typically I use them in my craft space or in my purse. So they're good for that. But I like the idea also for like keeping sewing needles together or my cross stitching needles and threaders and stuff like that. I just like to keep things handy. So I grabbed one of those. I also found, and this is a name brand. I don't know the name brand, but it's not a Dollar Tree brand. It is Crystalline. But these are small little storage. Again, you know, crafty bits. I'm always having little bits of things that I'm trying to keep together in one piece. Little wood pieces or little beads or pom-poms. Just little things, you know, that I really, I'm tired of them all over my craft space. So I would rather have a little, um, you know, a little container to keep them, keep them in. And I love the lock lid. And these also stack really nicely like really nicely I'm almost thinking I needed more but I'm not gonna buy more because I don't have an idea but also makeup or spices or sugar things if you're keeping in your spice packs or whatever um, I don't know that it's airtight so I wouldn't keep open things in it but uh, q-tips in your bathroom you could keep any spare like that so I just grabbed those and then I also, storage-wise, grabbed a few more of these. Uh, like I said, these fit perfectly in a three-tiered cart. They're calling them, they're like flexible, so I'm not sure exactly. Oh, flexi bins is what they're calling them. Um, I actually got these before I did my tiered tray, but found that I didn't need them right away. But, again, storage markers, pens, a desk drawer, kitchen catch-all drawers. And if they don't, you know, they, they kind of have some give to them. So they're not as harsh. Um, also, these will probably go into my linen closet to stack up stuff I'm using. Hair products that are open, like my gel, hairspray, deodorants. And I can do one shelf of just the things that I use on the daily. Makeup can go in one. So that'll definitely work in my bathroom because I'm not quite done in there. And then the last thing I got, I had one of these before, but I put it in the dishwasher and that was a bad idea and it melted. So don't do that. But if you haven't seen these before, they're two there are two jars and on this end you can put, I would put like carrots or cucumbers or whatever. And then over here, carrots or cucumbers or whatever. And then it has a little dip container. You could put hummus in there, ranch in there, whatever. And then when I used to take my lunch to work, I would just put it, uh, put it, there we go, put it in my lunch container. But now what I will do is just stick it in my refrigerator and have it when I want to grab a snack and take it upstairs. Um, or if I'm packing a lunch, if I'm taking a road trip somewhere, throw it in the cooler, but it's got, you know, healthy snack options. If you have little ones and you go out on the, you know, you can even put dry cereal, pretzels over here, put, you know, I don't know if it's watertight. We'd have to check, but you could do dry cereal and milk if you have to send your little ones anywhere or your grown-ups anywhere, you know, I don't know if it's watertight. That is definitely something we would have to experiment with. Um, but for me, I can just keep my keto snacks in the fridge and then I grab it and take it upstairs. And I got my label off, don't worry. <laughs> I think that's it for storage. Yeah, I don't. this is not a big haul. Um, I also found the heart-shaped, um, cupcake pan. Now my store never had these. I'm just doing the tag off. My store never had these last year. I will assume that the silicone heart liners will fit in here, which will be perfect to hold the perfect shape of the heart, which is what I got the pan for. I'll just do two batches of six if I make muffins or something in the heart pans, but because I don't, I never have good luck with metal pans without liners to get stuff out but I'm pretty sure those silicone liners that they sell will fit in here so I grabbed that just to have so that I can make I'm, I'm planning on making myself a keto um, muffins and I don't care when I have them they can be heart shaped I grabbed another package of these because adorable and these are the gold with the little red hearts I love these again for taking snacks 
fill it up with some little bit of crackers, my keto snacks, nuts, whatever, or on a charcuterie board or in a lunch box. If you have a little one that you pack lunch, this would be super cute. Um, I don't think you can bake in these. I think they're strictly for looks, but you can put, use them as a dipping cup for dinner with ketchup, mustard, ranch, barbecue sauce, whatever. Just super cute. And I, to me, I don't, you know, because of my surgery and my diet, oh, sorry, diet, I don't, I don't eat a large volume of food, so I don't mind spending a little extra time making what I do eat fun, if that makes sense. Um, they didn't have the scrubbing bubbles, but I grabbed two more of these. These are working out really well in the two bathrooms that I utilize the most in my house. So that would be the bathroom down here and the bathroom in my bedroom, and they are flushed multiple times a day, so I don't have to worry about staining. Um, if you don't use your toilet a lot, I would not recommend these, um, but they're working out good for me because I'm using my toilets frequently, and so the, the, the bleach and everything is helping kind of just keep everything fresh. That's me. And then I got just another set of reusable gloves. And this is actually to do the bleach shirts if I can get around to doing it. I'm actually waiting for the Dollar Tree to get the heart signs that have like the roses around it. And they're pretty decent because I would like to do a shirt with that. But my store hasn't got them in yet. Also, my store has not gotten in. I just saw it today and I'm obsessed. And I'm going to need to find this. But they're the travel cups the paper travel cups in Valentine's decor that designs and I need them. There's two, there's two prints and I need them for my coffee bar for February. Uh, I know I need them. So excuse me, Alex. So I'm on the hunt for that. But all right, that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree uh, for this time around. And I hope you enjoyed and I will talk with, oh, one more thing. I lied. I got odor eliminator for my car. It gets musty in the winter and I want to spray this on my fabric seats. Um, just see if it freshens things up. This is lavender. I don't smell in the store because I keep my mask on. Mm, it's lovely. I really wish I would have like a fresh mint or something, but that's okay. So I grabbed this and I also got that other odor eliminator to spray on the fabric. I have cats and they sleep on my couch and stuff. So now that's it. All right, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll talk with you later. Bye.